Still developing this morning, investigators remain on the scene of an apartment building fire that killed at least 12 people, including children. Several others were critically injured. John Shumo is live in the Bronx where the flames broke out. John, good morning. And a good morning to you, Jen and Rochelle. And Rahel, we have some new information that we want to report to you at this hour. According to WCBS TV here in New York, this building had open violations for defective smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors on the first floor. And that's where the flames started just after, just before seven last night. Fire marshals are on the scene still at this hour trying to determine exactly what caused this blaze. Flames ripped through a five-story apartment building in the Bronx around 7 p.m. last night. Based on the loss of life, it quickly became one of the most devastating fires in recent New York City history. This is the worst fire tragedy we have seen in this city in at least a quarter century. Fire officials say it started on the first floor and quickly spread to all five floors of the nearly 100-year-old building. Windows on some of the top floors were smashed and blackened. Firefighters responded within three minutes. They immediately extended their ladders to help residents on every floor. Witnesses say, though, even before help arrived, people inside were scrambling to climb down. They started to get everybody out, but people were on the fire escape already trying to get down on their own. That's how fast it was moving. Complicating the rescue effort for more than 150 firefighters who responded, the weather. The temperature at the time was in the low teens, single digits with the wind chill. Many of those who had to rush out of their homes were forced to flee without fully getting dressed. It was like freezing point, so it was worse for people who wasn't ready and dressed appropriately with no shoes or any of that. The Red Cross responded, handing out blankets. City buses were brought in to help keep people warm. We also now know that among the dead, in addition to that one-year-old, a two-year-old and a seven-year-old. The cause of this fire remains unknown. Jan and Rahel. Frustrating developments this morning. Mm. Thank you, John.